Hey guys, it's Scarlet at Build Across, and today I'm going to show you how I paint this cactus succulent cluster in this pot. I'm going to go in first with terracotta, and that's the color I'm using to base coat my pot. And all the colors I use in this video will be Dixieville chalk paint, which you can purchase online at buildacross.com. I've gone in now with evergreen and limeade in the center, and I'm just blending that in. And so anytime I blend, I like to get my colors on the piece and then I'll wipe my brush off and then just blend and blend until I'm happy with the way it looks. You can always add more of one color if you feel like it needs a little darker on the edges um, or whatever you think. And then I'm going to use the color Mint Julep for, um, well, not yet. <clears throat> now I've used the color Mint Julep for this um, almost kind of looks like an aloe. And then I used peony and soft pink for my flowers. And now I'm using kudzu for this last little succulent. I used honky tonk red for, um, this detail on my pot. And now I'm using peony. Now that everything's dry, I'm going in with my Sharpie brush stroke marker and doing all of my outlining. This marker makes this step super easy, but if you wanted to go in with paint and a brush, you could. I'd probably recommend a number four round. Um, and you can also use this marker to do hand lettering. And I'm actually, um, after the video, um, after I finished the video, I actually did go in and do a little lettering on the bottom. You'll see that in the picture at the end. Um, and it's just so easy because you have a lot of control over it. And as you can see here, I like to flip my piece around as I'm painting it. Because wherever I'm at, um, painting-wise, I like it to be closer to me. That way my hand is able to rest on the table and that just makes my lines more steady. And then once I'm done outlining, I'm going to go in with the number four round and the color cutting cotton which is Dixie Belle's whitest white and I'm going to just highlight everything this brightens it up and gives it a finished look to me and then um that'll be it that'll complete my project um I really hope you guys enjoy this and get some inspiration I can't wait to see how you guys paint these and I hope you have a great day